Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Alrighty, the other day NVIDIA came out with uh, an addition to their drivers uh, with a feature called image sharpening. And um, instead of trying to explain what it does, I guess I could just show you what it does a lot easier. And I've been playing around with it in DCS World, and I'm running this on my 2D panel at 3840 by 1080. So let's take a look here. We will go into the F14. Um, let's do a free flight on the Caucasus map. That might be a good way, good place to start. Basically, you enable this at the driver level. It only works on an NVIDIA card, and it came with the latest drivers. Go to your 3D settings, look for image sharpening, turn it on, and push the slider up. I'm running it at the maximum of 1.0 and um, it's pretty cool. It's definitely different. Some are gonna love it, some are gonna hate it. It just makes things look different is probably the easiest way to describe it. So let's jump in here. And to me, things tend to look a little granular, like in the cockpit. All my cockpit details look a little granular. But at the texture level everything looks so much more I don't know it's popping it's just so much more detail it looks like to me at least you could it really brings out the detail is the probably the best way to put this it definitely sharpens the image I'm not running this with any uh, special options either. If you look at my options for my system, I got high, high, low, low, high, flat only. I'm using no anti-aliasing at all. These are the settings I use for VR, so I don't change them when I jump back. So I'm achieving this level of really awesome detail uh, by just cranking up that image sharpening. Pretty impressive. Um, I think it makes ground textures look a little different, though, if you ask me. I don't think it's a terrible thing. I think it's a different thing. Almost more hand-drawn. So I'm going to turn on the frame rate counter. And you're going to see it doesn't even affect performance. 170, 160, it's up there. These clouds will probably drop it down a little bit. But man, just look at the textures on this thing. Look at the underside of this thing. I think that's impressive. Look at all the scratches on the drop tanks, you know? Just stuff you don't normally see. And it seems like that image sharpening really brings that out. But on the ground textures, it almost looks, I don't know, different. Because we're used to seeing it a certain way. So let me jump back and uh, let's take a quick look at the, let's see, what would be another good example? Hmm. Let's take a free flight over Normandy and see how the Spitfire looks. I bet the Spitfire looks pretty nice. I haven't tried this yet, so here we go. There's another option in the options for uh, 3D settings that I was messing with the other day too called DSR. Um, that's something you can play with as well with an NVIDIA card. And it basically, if you have a 1080 screen, it will allow you to bump the resolution up to a 4K resolution and then run it on your 1080 screen natively at 1080 somehow or another and it really does make a difference and it does look really good uh, it does take a performance hit though but this this looks amazing um, the image sharpening doesn't take a performance hit to pull this off and look at the just the level of texture detail on the planes I think on the planes it, it has the most impact The ground detail, like I said, it looks almost hand-drawn, almost like a, 
it's changed the ground texture to look to me almost like it's drawn with charcoal pencils or something. You know what I mean? It looks different. It doesn't look bad. It's just different. All right. So that's a Spitfire. Just an action. Um, let's take that Huey. Let's take the Nevada Free Flight and the Huey. But again, if you have an NVIDIA card and you are, you're already getting great performance in DCS on your 2D panel and you want to try something different, it's an option. And one of the other things they came out with in their latest driver was um, reshade. So you can actually use reshade filters now, which are filters that just basically make everything look different. Um, I don't know. That's more of a matter of personal preference. If you want to make things look, I don't know, different colors or add some kind of weird different filter to things, you can do that. I didn't download them because it required downloading some special filters and then you can like do something through the NVIDIA panel there while you're in game to change the filters and add different visuals or filters to the look of your stuff. So ground details look rather nice with this and again it it looks more hand drawn to me than it does realistic like it was, photorealistic like it was. But it also does not appear to be hitting the performance. Because I'm still getting, what, 110, 120, all the way down to 90 for a minute there. So performance-wise, it's rather good. It's actually solid. So it's just going to be a matter of opinion. If it's something you want to try, give it a shot, man, because I think it cleans it up a little bit and makes things look different uh, in a good way, but others might feel differently. And then what else could I show you? Uh, instant action, let's see. Did the Spitfire, did the Tomcat, which is like the most beautiful plane. Let's do this guy. This Harbor Strike mission is like totally one of my favorites. And it's so much fun. And the Harbor is absolutely beautiful. And of course, the Viggen's beautiful. And the textures in this thing really pop too. Trying to get this thing trimmed right is just so much fun. So take a peek at this guy. Holy hell. Just look at the textures. Like the wear and tear around the edges. It definitely makes a difference on the Vigan. Look at the wear and tear on that drop tank. Whoa. Gotta watch where I'm going. This thing wants to go nose down on me in a heartbeat. The cockpit looks rather granular too, if that makes sense. Nice little shimmering on the water there. Let me kick this up a notch. Let's drop some bombs on target up here and uh, take a look at it for a second from a uh, different angle. Kill them labels. Yeah, there's a nice little explosion going off up there. Now let's spin it around and boom. Very nice. And the level of detail looks pretty impressive on the ground there. So again, to me, things look more hand-drawn 
versus that photorealistic look that DCS had before because of the extra sharpening. Um, not entirely a bad thing, just a matter of taste, I suppose. So it's, it's really going to be a personal preference more than anything, I'd imagine. But definitely looks good. It's definitely not taking anything out of the performance, because look at that, 150, 147 FPS. So um, it didn't seem to change anything performance-wise. It just changes the look of everything. And again, the other thing you can play around with is that DSR. Um, I did it last night briefly and made my 3840 by 1080 uh, resolution up to like 5,000 something by 1,500 something. And um, it takes, now when you use DSR, it's going to take a little bit of a performance hit um, to get that higher resolution. And then choosing that higher resolution uh, within DCS, you're going to have to do that. But it's pretty cool. Something different. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, I almost missed those. So again, pretty cool stuff. And it looks really neat, but it's it's more hand-drawn versus that photorealism, I think. Uh, but it's something free to try. And uh, if you have a, a decent NVIDIA card and you have the newest drivers, that's something to give a shot. So it's the image sharpening and the latest driver release for NVIDIA video cards. Uh, I think it makes DCS look different, kind of cool, almost really neat. It's just a matter of preference, I guess. Uh, I don't love it. I don't hate it. I think it's pretty cool. And I'm going to play around with it some more. So give it a shot, guys. And uh, as always, please subscribe to the channel. Uh, hit that like button. And until next time.